So you've already uh, called the children and told them to be at the house? Yes, they're waiting for us now. Sweetheart, I can call them back. I can tell them you're too tired from the trip if you're not... No, no, no. This, this, this issue's been in the closet long enough. This was a big emotional ordeal for you, confronting your mother. If you want to do it another time, we can. No, I should, I should have, I should have told them myself. The Taylor explained to them why you couldn't. I, I know that, honey, but they deserve to hear it from their mother. And now they will. I'll be right beside you. I don't know that I'll ever really be able to make you understand how much I appreciate just that, you being there with me. And the fact that you stood up to my mother. Thank you, Eric. That's nothing compared to the support you're going to get from your children. You'll see. Everything's going to be fine. Hi, honey. I'm so glad to be back. If there's anything we can do. Just name it. Thank you, sweetie. Yeah, I told you they would not be upset with you. Oh, what are we going to be upset with her for? <laughs> because I didn't tell you. No. Taylor explained that, Mom. You Please. had to go to Chicago to confront your mother. We understand all that, Mother. Yeah, I know. It's just, uh, I think what I'm upset about is that I, well, I just kind of let you think I had this incredible childhood and I just pushed all of that ugliness out of my mind and as a result I pushed my mother out of my life and out of yours. Are you kidding? If you think we wanted anything to do with that woman after the way she treated you, forget it. Growing up the way I did damaged me and, and the truth is you all paid the price. You know, I, I needed to control everything and, and as a result I interfered in your marriages and your relationships and ultimately, it cost your father the company. I'm not making excuses. I want you to know that. But I also want you to... It's just such an enormous sense of relief to understand why. And I just want you and you and you to understand, too. Okay? If you think this justifies that 11 o'clock curfew you gave me when I was 16, I'm not buying it, lady. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least now we know why you've been so protective. We're very grateful for that, believe it or not. Oh. I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> but I am so damn proud to have you for my mother. Oh, sweetheart. Thank you. Yeah, we love you, Mom. Thank you, sweetheart. We wouldn't change that for anything. I confronted her and said, you know, this is what happened, and this is what you didn't do. It was really hard, I'll tell you that. It was. I was just... But your dad gave me the strength. I was just there for moral support. This was a big turning point that you reached all by yourself. That's not to say that your mother won't be driving us crazy sometime before dinner. <laughs> <laughs> but... You've made this progress all alone. I said it before, I'll say it again. You're an amazing woman. Oh, honey. <laughs> you are. Thank you. 